Today, I will guide you on the solution to the errors you might have encountered while uploading your book file or cover on Apple Books. I've had this experience before and I was able to resolve it. The error may come in form of this or in form of this, okay? But we will pick them one after the other and provide solution to them, okay? At the end of this guide, if the solution provided here does not solve the issue, just feel free to drop it in the comment section and I will see how I can help you resolve that. Let's start with the error in the manuscript. If you're uploading a manuscript and you see such error like this, as you can see on the screen, which says your book couldn't be uploaded. Resolve any errors, then try uploading again. The first step you need to take is to click on this view and send error to Apple. On the next page that will open, forward that error message to Apple. They will give you feedback within 24 hours on what you need to do to clear the error and then upload your book successfully. But in some cases, it may not be clear because of the technical terms used while conveying this information, okay? Error of this type sometimes comes because of issue while converting your manuscript from document to EPUB. To resolve it, I recommend you visit a website, onlinevisualparadigm.com. I have the link on the screen and in the description. So, when you visit this website, you will then reconvert your document to EPUB and then upload to Apple. That will resolve the problem because that was how I resolved my own issue. So, let me get you in steps on what you need to do. In your web browser, visit the link onlinevisual-paradigm.com. As the website opens, click on sign up if you are using it for the first time. But in my own case, I have to sign in because I've been using it, okay? Then I will type my email address and proceed. Once you sign in successfully, this is the interface you will see. So click on document. Click on Import. Select choose file. Select my device. Double click on the file as it is in your computer. Once the document file is fully imported into the platform, it will open automatically like this. So the next step we need to take now is to convert this document file to EPRO. So click on share. Under export as, click on this drop down and select EPRO. And the document is being converted to EPRO. And the conversion is done. So I will close this interface and get to my computer, to the downloads folder of my computer and see the file. So I'll click on my file explorer, click on downloads. And here is the file I converted to EPUB right now. So now let's go and solve the issue with the cover. Why uploading your cover art on Apple Books? You may see a notification that looks like this. Okay, this error may show up. You can see this is written in red, meaning that the cover could not go through. If you click on this spot, you will see more details about the error. And in this case, it says the shortest axis must be at least 1,400 pixels. So I should check the submission guidelines. The fact is this, this happens most times because the image I uploaded, the cover art I uploaded, is less than 300 dpi. Apple Book recommends that your cover art should be not less than 300 dpi. So in this case now, I have already created the cover, but it's not up to 300 dpi. So let me guide you on how you can scale it so that it will be up to that 300 dpi. I will be using Microsoft Publisher to fix this error. Probably you are Microsoft 365 subscriber, so you should have the program. But if you don't have it, 
you can get any program of your choice so far it has the capacity to increase or scale up a design to 300 dpi which is suitable for printing so I'll click on the start menu then in this search session i will search for publisher okay i'll click on the app for you to open as the program opens this is the interface you will see so i will select the option blank a4 portrait the standard measuring unit in publisher is cm all right so i want to change the measuring unit to inches it's easier for me to work with that so i'll click on file click on options then i'll click on advanced then under show measurements unit of i'll select inches why i'm doing this is because after publishing on apple books i may decide to upload the uh the cover on amazon kdp as well so it will be easy for me so now let's go and change size so i'll click on size which is other page design so the first thing you have to do here is click on page design then click on size click on set up page setup all right everything is now in inches so let's say i'm creating a cover of six by nine inches so i'll have six here then i'll have nine inches here then under here the top 0 0.125 which is the recommended format for amazon kdp to apple may not care because it's ebook better i want to make keep that standard okay so i'll change all these to 0 0.125 inches one two five all right so after that i'll click on ok now that we have set our page the way we want it the cover so now let me go and import the cover i have already designed that do not meet up the standards required by apple books okay so i'll click on insert select pictures then i'll navigate to where the cover is in my computer so in this case is in the downloads folder here is the cover cover one so i will double click on it as the cover is important i will then drag and I will make sure that it doesn't get into the margin. All right. Okay. I'm good this way. So these white spaces are just the margins I set. So I'm okay this way. Now the next step is to save this cover in that 300 dpi. So I'll click on file. So let's save us select browse okay i can give it a name okay on that okay let me just give it the name of my choice let's say correct cover all right anything <laughs> all right after that on that save as i will change this publisher files to jpeg okay you can see jpeg then there is an important step we need to take here you can see resolution standard printing 150 that is 150 dpi is selected by default so but we need to change it to 300 so i'll click on change then you can see these options display this the last one says high quality printing or commercial press so i will select this option and click ok then i'll click on save once this is done the design is now saved into my pc with the 300 dpi quality needed by apple books okay so i can then upload this new cover on the platform so if you're having the similar issue with a manuscript or with your cover design this guide has put you through on what you need to do to get that fixed but if this video does not solve the problem just feel free to drop the issue you are having in the comment section let's see how we are going to help okay i believe this video helps please if you like this video if it's helpful to you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel okay also leave a comment i'd like to hear from you whether this video solves a problem or not see you some other time